seems like I speak to you every day, uh, and this, <laughs> there is something new every day on this. So where are we on the story? Well, so top, the top Chinese regulator has essentially approved this plan last month with Evergrande mm. to. Um, renegotiate some of those uh, loans with its banks and with its creditors. Mm -hmm. um, sources saying that uh, Evergrande has reached out to some of those banks and some of those creditors to start renegotiating the uh, deadlines on some uh, loan payments, interest payments. Um, of course, kind of we had that red news uh, a couple mm -hmm. of days ago that really triggered a plummet in the bonds. I think this is actually more reassuring for investors because what it starts to show is very, very, very early signs that Beijing and the central government is keeping an eye on how Evergrande manages all of these kind of emerging and pressures among the kind of financial institutions. Because we are getting a rebound, at least in the, well, not, okay, I spoke too soon, got <laughs> a rebound yesterday. This is not debt forgiveness. Like, what's next? Yes, absolutely. So what investors will be looking for is actual clarity on what type of plans and what type of delays that Evergrande has put in place with those banks. That will give investors uh, some signs of just how much pressure Evergrande is on. And of course, in the meantime, Evergrande does have to service all of these interest payments on its bonds coming due. That includes $129 million uh, of, uh, of interest payments due this month. So there will also be a keen eye on you know, those payments being made in a timely fashion.